Well, right now, the disability community is invisible to this administration and to this Congress. On Thursday, July 26th, where we are now, is going to be the 28th anniversary of the ADA. 28 years, and yet this White House, this administration is doing nothing to celebrate that. So what does that tell this community? Yeah, we love the ADA and we love disability rights, but not enough to celebrate you, not enough to honor you, not enough to say you actually exist and we care. That's back to invisibility. Every year we do a march and rally here in Washington, D.C. We have thousands of people who march through the city and letting people know that ADA is the civil right. Disability rights are a civil right and that their rights are important to the world. So they come to the place where law is done. We march down to the Capitol and then we have a rally to talk to our elected officials and tell them what we want them to do. Thank them if they've done well. There's three laws that need to be changed. So let's start with one. The first thing, you need a job, right? Everyone wants a job and wants to be employed. We want competitive, integrated employment, no segregated employment. We want people to use the ADA, Title I, which is employment law. And in that also is equal pay. We have a lot of people around the country fighting for equal pay. Well, people with disabilities disabilities are hindered and um, horrifically discriminated against through a law called 14C, sub minimum wage, which yes, yeah, sub, you can pay them lower than minimum wage. It's in the Fair Labor Standard Act, which was passed 80 years ago. And until that statute is changed, you can actually pay people with a disability two cents an hour. Number two in the area of restraint and seclusion, which you cannot restrain and seclude people in any other institutions. We passed a law years ago for jails and prisons, our hospitals and healthcare centers, but guess where you can restrain and seclude people? In our schools, in any educational institution, which is supposed to be the safest place in the world for children, and yet you can restrain and seclude them. So we're trying to end that practice. There is something that's better, it's called positive behavioral intervention systems. Not everyone believes in all of that, but we surely believe that you have to stop tying up children and putting them in seclusion boxes. That is not how a child should be going to school and learning and getting education. So the third one we're really, really trying to fight is um, ending electric shock of also students and that is at the JRC, the Judge Rothenberg Center in Massachusetts, where a judge just ruled that it's okay for that staff to basically zap or uh, shock. Uh, the students that are in that center. And the United Nations has said this is a form of torture, that you cannot do that. And you can go to ADAPT, A-D-A-P-T's website, to see the videos of this going on in the centers, and also to see the 15-day vigil that they did in front of the Secretary's house here in Washington, D.C., in the cold and the rain, to say, you must stop torturing our people.